The second thing which is very important when it comes to raw food and nutritional choices is that you have first the big important decisions that you make about the food. Like for instance, the big ones here is that most of the ingredients are just fresh products. Okay, it's like it's based on fresh vegetables and fresh fruit. Then you have chia seeds and nuts and seeds and that creates the bulk of what I'm preparing here. So if I you know mix all that and put it all together I already optimize my nutrition to 80 percent and it's optimized to 80 percent whether it's uh, it's uh, organic uh, food combinations um, you know quantities and so on it's like I'm already optimizing by using this so I already consider once I get all these ingredients in whatever combination and whatever form I eat them I'm already optimizing my nutrition to 80 percent. The next level of optimization that takes your nutrition from 80 percent to 100 percent optimization is watching a few things. The first one is the source of the products. Are they local or are they grown somewhere else? The second source is the food combination because there are certain ingredients that don't mix really well in your stomach when you're trying to digest. Some people say that you should eat the fruit just by itself, okay? Or that uh, you should eat your ve vegetables by itself. I have um, a good friend of mine, a, a, a very young 10-year-old girl in, in the US who when you prepare some food for her, it's like she doesn't want even the, the vegetables to touch. You know, she <laughs> is like obsessive. But there is, I can see why, you know, on a certain level she wants ingredients to be very separated and um, so there might be some intuitive you know reality or wisdom behind that um, <clears throat> yeah and the, the third element in the in the fine tuning is is it uh, organic or not so for instance if I have to travel across town like for half an hour driving in traffic jams to get organic food the the price I have to pay by being stacked and the stress and all that doesn't compensate for the value of getting this organic food so you need to be really smart and wise so if I have the choice between going down to the supermarket and it takes me one minute to go and buy um, ingredients which are non-organic or if I have to drive across town to a supermarket because the organic food is not available nearby and I have to drive in traffic jams and be in a car and stacked and stressed for half an hour I decide to go for a non-organic product which is local because I have the feeling that overall when you look at <clears throat> you know how many toxins my body is going to take in the in the in the drive to get to that place is not worth doing it for just getting organic products so um, in my opinion it's important to get your priorities right and be really smart when it comes to preparing you know food food uh, like that so again you have like different levels of optimization the first optimization level is to get to 80 percent good and then once this is there uh, you can uh, start um, you know fine-tuning that but for instance if you go to a nutritionist and they you know your diet is in a mess and the first thing they want to fo you to focus on is on food combination I would say that's not in the priority that's not the first thing you should focus on the first thing to, you should focus on is on getting the the right ingredients and then you know the food combination comes after once your your diet is already optimized at 80 percent so I know that some of you might argue with that uh, that's my personal belief and it has been working really well for me to, to put it within within that that perspective and that priority